Tens of thousands of people are waiting on a kidney donation right now. Some have been on the list for years. A St. Louis woman saw how many desperately needed help and decided to act. News Force Claire Kellett shows us how she saved a stranger's life. We first met Jane Beckman back in April, shortly after she had read an article about a man donating a kidney to a stranger. So that's when I was sitting at the kitchen table and thought, Wow, I think I can do this. Jane jumped right into phone calls and doctor's visits before getting word of a match from St. Louis University Hospital. There's a man who needs a kidney. That stranger, Jack Martin, had been on the kidney transplant waiting list for three years and was on dialysis almost 12 hours a day. When you get a, a live donor, you really can't ask for more than that. Because a kidney is the most needed organ in the U.S. Across the country, 95,000 people are on the kidney transplant waiting list. In Missouri, that number is almost 1,600. In Illinois, it's about 3,400, according to the United Network for Organ Sharing. And when we got that call, it was, it was literally like winning the lottery, that God had just gave us everything that we had ever asked and prayed for. Jack's wife, Jennifer, knows how serious kidney disease can be since they lost his father to it. It just meant I get to keep my husband a lot longer than what without it. You know, I we, we've been together since I was 16 and I'm 57 now. Jane and Jack had their successful surgeries at SLU Hospital at the end of May and we were with them this summer when they met for the first time. I'm nervous. I, I met them real quick at the thing, but I thought I was ready for this. How, How are, are you? you I'm Jane. I'm Jack. Hi, Jack. How are you doing? Jack, in his quiet, reserved manner, had a powerful thank you for Jane. I sure appreciate the gift you gave me. Yes. Well, you were a vessel God brought to us to carry the kidney he gave me. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. You're looking so good. That gratitude prompted Jennifer to donate her kidney to a stranger since she wasn't a match for Jack. I just kept thinking, with what God's done for us to liberate us, somebody else needs that too. Both families are urging those who can to be an organ donor. It's my own kind of a cliche, but it's a gift of life. There's no getting around it. It's, it's going to help somebody to live longer and, and while they're living, have a life that's worth living. And he'll be able to see his grandkids grow up and dance at their weddings. Still a lot there that I, that I want to see and not miss out on. Claire Kellett, News 4.